It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Thursday, the 14th of October. I'm James Spann. Unseasonably warm weather continues through tomorrow. And then the long-awaited cool-down arrives over the weekend. We'll be well down in the 40s by Sunday morning. This is the upper air look. A strong upper air high remains parked on top of Alabama, deflecting the major rain producers well to the west for now. That was the radar early this morning, a little before 5 o'clock. Rain over western Arkansas. Uh, far west of Alabama, we are dry. There's the watch warning map. Flash flood watches for parts of Texas, southeast Oklahoma, and northwest Arkansas, and the southwest corner of Missouri. That's the moisture in association with former eastern Pacific Hurricane Pamela. Got some fog issues up along the middle Atlantic coast region and still some freeze warnings for parts of the Plain States. A couple of marginal risks later today and tonight, north and west of the state. Tomorrow, a chance of severe storms along a cold front from near Little Rock and Memphis up to Cleveland and Buffalo. Got a slight risk for areas just north of Memphis, but again, no severe weather expected here. And then day three, which is Saturday, got a marginal risk over parts of the northeast United States. Again, that's with that incoming cold front. Rain for the next seven days, heavier totals north of Alabama and around here, just not a lot. Rain totals will likely be under a quarter of an inch for most spots. And again, we will have some rain with that front late tomorrow night, very early Saturday morning, but just not much at all. Tropics, the Atlantic Basin, awfully quiet, which is good. Gulf of Mexico pretty much clear. Little feature east of the Bahamas will be drifting to the east, but that is not expected to develop, only a 10% chance. So model fans, here we go, the GFS. This is the 06C run, valid today at 4. Upper Ridge here, big trough in the west. And again, for us, warm and dry. Partly sunny, highs mid-80s, maybe upper 80s in a few spots. Tomorrow during the day, we're dry with, again, highs in the middle 80s. Showers north and west of the state with that front. Let's go to the high-res NAM and take a look at the progression of the front. This is tomorrow night at 11 p.m. You can see that little band of showers creeping into the northwestern corner of the state. So for most of the high school football games, no rain. Uh, tomorrow night. The, the main window for rain now looks like it's going to be from about 10 o'clock tomorrow night until 4 a.m. Saturday. This is 3 a.m. Saturday. You see the showers coming on through Gadsden and Birmingham. Showers are weakening and then by 7 a.m. Saturday it's pretty much over. So most of you will not even know that we had some rain. Just a few showers during the pre-dawn hour Saturday morning. The day Saturday will be much cooler. Sunny, breezy, highs in the upper 60s. Then by Sunday, we're going to be in the 40s to start the day. Some of the colder pockets might see upper 30s. Wow. A high Sunday, upper 60s to near 70, just glorious fall weather. Same thing Monday and Tuesday, high should be in the 70s. And we're still dry Wednesday. And a week from today, this is Thursday the 21st, got a shortwave coming down through the Plain States and rain just to the west. So this run suggesting the next chance of rain will be Thursday night or Friday of next week. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 23rd, broad troughing over the east. And again, that looks very, very pleasant and dry. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. Again, a pretty dry look here for the next 15 days to the 28th of October. The mean is well under one inch, which is what you expect this time of the year. It's pretty dry typically in October. And temperatures after tomorrow. They come way down. Highs in the 60s and 70s and lows in the 40s and 50s for a while. And again, this is the CPC outlook. These things have had a very big warm bias this month, not really catching the cooler air, but this is suggesting temperatures near, maybe a little above average for October 21st through October 27th. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day, teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms, and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. 
Benny and Chipper, be prepared, not scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook.com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared. Get your kids a copy today.